Alright. Sounds at work second season episode one. My god! New inter new characters were introduced. See ya. Um, well, we're going to call well white blood cell here as 11:46. Kasi marami sila, marami sila white blood cell eh. Mayan about 40. Mayan about 49, 89 ngayon na Pero yung yung white blood cell na sumikat sa season one, we'll call him 11:46. Okay? He is wow. He is psychotic as fuck when it comes to killing germs. Same intensity and nakita niyo yon? Nakita niyo yon? May Jojo reference! <laughs> Grabe! Okay. <clears throat> it is so joyous for me to see Cells at Work again. Okay. You will have a feel when it comes to... When it comes to learning about the human body. Particularly, the human immune system. Okay. Being a physical therapy graduate, I can... Wow. Okay, 100%, 101% relate ako sa anime na to. Okay, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you Twitch, 101% relate ako sa cells at work because of because of my uh, because of my educational background. All right now, yung sikat yung platelet na uh, the platelet that spawned a lot of memes, a lot of cosplays in in conventions. We'll call her uh, platelet leader. Okay, we'll call her platelet leader. Kasi it's na promote she. Siya na ngayon ang isang um hindi. Not much naman eh. <clears throat> Sa kanya ngayon ng mga ng mga kapwa niya platelets, platelet leader. And meron pala meron pala silang big boss ang mga platelets. The cuteness overload. Oh my god. <laughs> Hindi ko maanda ng cuteness overload na mga to. Pero, yung leader nila, sobrang angas. Si Mega Karyocyte. Okay, let me give you a background. The Mega Karyocyte is the uh, the mother of all platelets. Okay? Siya talaga yung cell na nagpo-produce ng platelets natin. It's re it's actually called a Mega Karyocyte. Alright? Look it up, guys. Look it up. Google nyo. Google nyo. If ever, if I'm wrong, okay, sabihin nyo ako. So, ang, ang case ngayon, episode 1, episode 1's case is called a bump. Okay? Sa Tagalog, bukol. <laughs> Nabukulan siguro yung ano, yung ulo, ng, yung ulo ng body. So, they rush. And, the new platelet, yung hero ng episode na to, We'll call him backward cap. Kasi, the way he wears his platelet cap, baliktad. Baliktad niya kung isuot yun. So, they, even, even his fellow platelets call him backward cap. Even Mega Karyocyte calls him backward cap. So, we're gonna call him that. Okay? <clears throat> he pulls through. Okay? He is considered the weakest of all the platelets. Pero, in this case, hindi nila maisara yung... Hindi nila makompleto yung fibrin network nila. Without that coagulation factor na nahulog, siya, siya ang sumano nun. And the rest of the team pulls through, they were able to seal that off. So, happy ending. And may moral lesson tayo rito. Alright? Actually, you can pick up two moral lessons from this episode. Number one, no one is weak. Okay? Eh... Let me let me enlighten you on that mga lifestyle. Twitch, mga lifestyle. If you think if you think you're weak, you're actually not. Okay? You are a person is always good at something. All right? Ito yung isang moral lesson na natutunan ko sa episode na to, which is very true. Okay? No one is weak. Okay? Si Backward Cap considered the weakest kasi hindi niya mabuo yung mga parang move nila. But in that in that time of need, nabuo nila. Nabuo nila yun. Okay? He stepped up. And second, well, uh, kumaga, if you do your job well, without ever thinking of, without ever thinking of the rewards, you might get twice the rewards. Kasi, 
um, in-offer ng incentive ni Mega Horioside yung mga bata niya. Mga anak niya. Ito, may bidala. Nanay na nanay nga, ano, dating eh. So, yo, she offered them a reward. Okay, gold medal. Sino ang top performer? Gold medal. Eh, lahat nag-perform. So, she gave them a gold medal each. Pero, yung para kay Backward Cup, siya mismo ang naglagay. Alright, so, ito naman si Backward Cup. Nasa langit. Na, natapakan pa nga yung mukha ni, ni 1146 eh, si White Blood Cell. Naka! Natapakan pa niya nang hindi niya nalalaman. Sa sobrang ecstatic niya. Grabe. Overall, Cells at Work second season has gone off to a to a very Cells at Work start. Okay? It's practically nostalgic kasi I've seen the entire season 1 on its first run. Okay? Napanood ko lahat yan. All 12 episodes of season 1 napanood ko lahat yan on its first airing. That was 3 years ago. 3 years ago nun. I, I can attest to how it became the runaway hit of 2018. Ganong kaganda. At ganong, uh, ganong ka-informative. Ganong, uh, ganong kaganda. And talagang may educational value. Okay? Talagang may educational value ang anime na to. So, it just, well, episode 1 just picked up where season 1 left off. In terms of yung pace, flow, and of course, the one um, the one thing that uh, that made Cells at Work stand out against all other animes the educational value right if you're if you're a um, <clears throat> if you're a student taking up any any medical or paramedical course you will find Cells at Work useful especially if it's about the immune system yun talaga ang tema ng Yung talaga tema ng anime na to eh. It's about the immune system. Alright? You will find this useful. Okay? Use it as a... Uh, use it as... Use it as a study aid. Okay? Use the entire anime as a study aid. For either... Um, for... Subjects like anatomy, physiology, especially physiology. As it's about the immune, the immune system. Or... Um... Like in, uh, like in my course, physical therapy, we have a subject called medical surgical conditions. Mm. Yung mga, yung mga kabaro ko na PT, you might as well watch this anime if you want to, if you want to, if you're teaching, you might as well watch this anime also as a teaching aid. You can also use this anime as a teaching aid, guys. Right? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, Cells at Work, second season, episode one, two thumbs up, and a big no. <laughs> two thumbs up and a big no. <laughs> In recent memory, had this much educational value as Cells at Work. Okay. Now, in case you, uh, in case you haven't heard, Cells at the Cells at the original Cells at Work manga will be ending. And the final chapter will be about COVID-19. Okay? Itatakan nila ang COVID-19 sa, sa final chapter ng Cells at Work manga. Isn't that exciting? Alright? Well, they, they, also, they even tackled um, HIV yata in the, in the manga. Well, I can't wait for that. Okay? Yeah, I can't wait for that. I can't wait for that to, to be turned into uh, to be to be turned as in as a as an arc for this anime. I can't wait for that. Whew! Grabe! Cells at work is back, baby. <laughs> so again, Cells at work second season episode one. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up Twitch. Two thumbs up mga lifestyle. Next episode, uh, I think it's called Payer's Patch. Para na pagkatalo ko na yung dati sa ano, yung college ako. I'm, I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, I'm going to look it up. Kasi, well, you have to, you have to know if it checks out eh. Pero ito, yung uh, bump. Actually, a bump can be many things eh to the human body. 
it's a uh, yan a normal bug yari na napukulan or um uh, it can also be in the form of a contusion like yung yung muscle to bone collision that can form a contusion that can form a contusion which can uh, which can be inflamed which can turn into a bump. When, no, initially, it is a bump. Pero, uh, as time goes by, tumitigas yun. It, beca- it becomes a contusion. That's, uh, I think that's how the, that's how the, uh, that's how the mechanics of it. Eh. That's how the mechanics of a contusion is. Eh. But, you can always check it. You can always, um, <clears throat> you can always check it out online. Right? You can always research it. Do your research, okay? Do your research. Well, all I can say is, Welcome back, Sales at Work! <laughs> sales at Work, Code Black, Episode 1. It is a Sales at Work spin off, but don't get. <clears throat> Ahala ko. I was expecting uh, an equally funny, an equally funny take at the human body, but nope. The storyline is completely different, but um, the character style remains the same. May red, may red blood cell, may white blood cell, may platelets, everything. Okay. And the white blood cell here has opies. <laughs> but seriously. <clears throat> This is a more serious take on uh, on the human immune system. Okay. Kaya kaya pala cells at work code black ang pangalan ng spin-off. Okay. You got this male red blood cell, okay. 'di ba sa cells at work classic, babae ang red blood cell. Dito lalaki. Okay. Who is who gets easily frustrated. Okay. And there are what well, I don't find I don't find any funny moments here. All right? It is yung 100% grit. If you want to talk about the grittier side of the immune system, ito, episode 1 ng episode 1 ng Cold Black. Panoorin niyo. Okay? So they're dealing with um wow. I um pretty pretty common um Pretty common vice, smoking. All right, carbon monoxide poisoning in the blood vessels, and um, severe proliferation of the same compound in the lungs. Oh yeah, mm. I can easily tell that that body has been a chronic smoker for a long time. Halata, halata. Yung lungs niya ang dumi. Yung blood vessels niya halos barado na. Halos barado. And when there's carbon monoxide poisoning, you are also attracting bacteria. Mm. Yun ang mga napatay ni, ni female white blood cell dito. Wow. I never thought um, the, uh, the negative side of... Uh, what's it? Not negative side. I never thought the uh, the human immune system would be pushed this far in an anime, right? Overall, wow, okay. I love the pace, I love the flow, the, the plot, okay. If this is the overall plot of the spin-off, whoa, count me in, okay. Lalong tumiba yung pagiging fan ko ng Cells at Work, all right? <clears throat> and well... This is another teaching aid for you guys, all right? If you're if you got if you got vices, if you got um if you think work will uh, work will totally satisfy you, think again and watch this anime. So, Cells at Work Code Black episode 1. Two thumbs up. And a big toe. You I can't believe I just did it. Okay, I I am now reviewing the original anime and the spin-off at the same time in this very same season. Thank you, COVID. <laughs> Thank you, COVID nineteen. 
Okay? Alam nyo, hindi nga dapat, hindi nga dapat, hindi nga magsasabay ang, hindi nga magsasabay ito eh. Ang classic at saka cold black. No. I think they originally intended classic to, to, to be aired earlier. Tapos cold black, I think mga one or two months later. Pero of course, due to the pandemic, they had to adjust. All in good for us. All in good for us fans. Because, well, it'll, it is probably the first time in history that the original series and the spin-off uh, and then, uh, the original series came back for another season and the and its spin-off started airing in the same season at least. Okay? Much less in much less much less in one much less in the same day. Much less in the same day. So <clears throat> let's consider ourselves blessed. Let's let let's just thank the anime gods for this. Okay? Bilmo. You know, Salsa Board Classic deals with the uh, deals with a perfectly healthy body. Yeah, of course with the occasional uh, with the occasional bumps, bruises and uh, uh, irritations. It is the job of the human immune system after all. But in Code Black, this is a grittier take on um uh, what you call this? This is a. Uh, this serves as a very good lesson on why you should not abuse your body. Why you should not abuse your body? Hey, eh, this oh, episode one. It's about smoking. Okay? Ang yosi talaga. Walang benefit sa katawan to. And episode one just showed us why. All right? So if you're smoking, you better fucking quit it. Okay? And it, if this anime doesn't convince you, I don't know what will. Alright? I don't know what will. So again, Cells at Work Code Black Episode 1, two thumbs up. Okay? I, a very deserving two thumbs up. Wow. And uh, you see, you seen, seen uh, how, the, uh, how the next episode was teasered? Huh? How the next episode was teasered? Mukhang magandang subject to! Okay? Mukhang bisyo na naman ang pag-uusapan natin sa next episode. And I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to watch it, guys. Higurashi 2020, episode 14. Wow. <laughs> um, <clears throat> umpisa pa lang ng taon. Patay na naman tayo, all right. So we just saw how um, how Uishi's um, Uishi's massacre transpired, right? And well, we well, made you clear na, made you clear na yung uh, made you clear na yung buong storyline sa akin because the key character here is Rika, okay, the blue-haired. Uh, the little girl with the blue hair, the long blue hair. Yeah, she was trying to look for this um this sword that will that if she uses it on her, tapos na to. Kaya pala parang kaya pala parang yun na nagpatayan si Rena at si Kechi sa episode three. Then the next episode, boy na naman sila. It's because of this infinite loop that Rika is in, the adult Rika. All right. Inabisuhan siya ng yung friend niyang spirit na hanapin ng sword na to. And uh, it's it's the sword that can that can kill any looper. Say okay, once this once a looper is killed, it's all over. Tapos na to. So it's now obvious to Rika that she has to kill herself para matapos na lahat to. Kasi binubuo pa naman. She has been in this loop for 100 years. Okay? She's, in, she's been into this loop for 100 years. So, talagang, well, that is better. <laughs> then, then face eternal, um, uh, a lifetime of insanity. Kumbaga. So, hinanap niya, yung pala, isang piraso lang pala. Pero, um, it made her think na, 
I'll give it five more loops, sabi niya. And within those five more, those five more loops, I, I can't solve this. Then I am ending my life na. So, yun ang, bas- basically, yun ang, yun ang sinabi niya sa episode na to. Overall, it is a fucking creepy, uh, a, uh, no, not creepy. Uh, what's it called this? Um, it's a very on-edge episode. <laughs> It's a very on-edge episode. So, panibagong, panibagong mini-arc na naman. Alright? And we, and we now, we now know how Uishi lost it. Okay? It's not because of yung conspiracy theory ka na magkasakot sila ni uncle ni, yung uncle ni Satoko. Nope. He acted on his own talaga. And, Mukhang alam na niya kung ano ang gina, kung ano ang ang pakay ni Rika doon. That's why he was asking her na sabihin mo na ang sikreto kundi papatayin kita. Eh talaga, eventually talaga pinatay niya si Rika rito. Alright? She, she, he, he bashed Rika in the head so many times. Eh talaga, hindi eh. Kung normal na tao yun, talaga patay niya. Pero, wow. Grabe. Okay? That, that was, it was, Upisa ng episode, they started this episode with a very disturbing scene. Alright? Yung pace, flow, parang hindi nagbakasyo ng higurashi. Parang hindi nagbakasyo ng higurashi. Alright? That, that, that's, that's what I felt here. That's what I felt. Alright? The, the flow, okay. So, it's, for me, alright? For me, it's it started to become clear now. Okay? Rika is the is the real main character here because she is the one in that infinite um, infinite possibilities loop Siguro that is siguro that's the um, that is probably the curse of Oyashiro on her personal na sumpa sa kanya it is a, uh, a very unsettling episode although the uh, the violence and gore were all reserved to the first part before the uh, before the OP came up, and wow, what a way to what a way to begin an episode, okay? With with a massacre scene. Whew. So, Higurashi 2020 episode 14. See that? Two thumbs up. Okay, two thumbs up. Grabe, grabe ang episode na to. What a way for Higurashi to. To, to to resume its run. No? What a way for this anime to resume its run. Alalahanin natin. We got 24 episodes. So, 12, episode 14. Yeah. We're now down to the final 10 episodes. <laughs> That's a 24 episode run to it. Alright? It has been slated. The reboot has been slated for uh, 24 episodes. Uh, I'm, I'm getting excited, okay? I'm getting excited. I'm really getting excited. Not just not just because of this uh, this episode, but of all the uh, the previous episodes Higo, of the Higurashi reboot had. They're all, they're all exciting. Okay? They're all exciting. So again, Higurashi 2020 episode 14. Two thumbs up. <laughs> a uh, a. Uh, a, I don't agree with the massacre, but it looks disturbing. Two thumbs up. <laughs> so yeah, let's wait for let's. Well, I can't wait for the next episode because we're just into another mini arc. Okay? The uh, the series has just entered another mini arc, and we now know why this show has so many mini arcs because of Rika's uh because of uh, Rika's dilemma. The Promise Neverland Season 2 Episode 1. Yep, folks. Here we are. Okay. Well, um It's off to a great start. Episode 1 picked up where um where season 2 uh season 2. Where season 1 left off. Okay. 
They were escaping the farm, escaping the demons. And all of a sudden, they ran into this hideous, this ridiculously hideous monster. Okay, they're trying to, uh, <clears throat> they are, they're trying to evade it. Then all of a sudden, the, the demons, the demons hunting them down, uh, sila, particularly si Ray. Then, um, in a split second, they get rescued by demons. By other demons, okay? Um, we have no idea yet if these, if these two demons' intentions are, uh, <clears throat> are good or they just want to eat them, right? After all, um, the kids were raised to be food for these demons. Okay. Kaya nga sila Ano maging pagkain? They want to live, uh, they want to live normal lives. I've seen the, um, the pilot and the, uh, and the finale of season one. These two made me decide to, after reviewing episode one of season two, it made me regret the day I, um, the day I the day I deliberately missed out on this anime, the first airing yeah. okay? It's making me regret that day right now. Honestly, overall, like I said, kanina, like I said, moments ago, it's also a great start. Okay? Picked up where season one left off, okay? perfectly. Right. <clears throat> Pace, flow, plot, you can't, uh, you can't ask for more. Talagang, uh, talagang season 2 pilot ito. Talagang season 2 pilot siya. And, uh, ano, ano ulterior motives ng dalawang, ng dalawang demon na nag-rescue sa kanila, no? Makes you, makes you wonder. It really makes you wonder. And, um, there's sort of a, um, veering away from what season one was known for, okay. medyo hindi na creepy, medyo hindi cringy ngayon. Kasi well, fans have been, fans have had enough cringiness from season one. Okay, so it's a sort of a um, fresh start, okay. fresh start for season two. Kumbaga, I think they're they're slowly no they veered away from the creepiness of season one with this episode all right so like i said it's a it's a, it's a fresh start okay a whole new look on the anime it's a whole new look on, on the anime storyline to be exact so the promised neverland season two episode one two thumbs up Deserve niya ang two thumbs up ko. Did I say more? Alright, did I say more? Okay, when it comes to the OP, cool. Okay. Cool yung OP. Okay. I like, I like the, um, I like the sound, and I like the, uh, the tempo of it. I like the tempo of it. Yung ED, yeah? <clears throat> Kasi usually, uh, if you're going to put a song, as an ED to uh, to a particular anime, it should cap it should capture um, it should capture the other side of the storyline. Okay, and well, <clears throat> by the way, it sounded yung ED. I guess it did the job. I guess it did the job. But overall, it's too early to tell for the OP and ED. Kung talagang um, it served their purpose. It served their purpose as well. Pero first impression ko, the OP sounds cool, and the ED, yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. So again, the Promise Neverland season two episode one, two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Surprisingly, what a teaser for episode two. So we'll just have to watch it, mga lifestyle. We'll just have to watch the next episode. Yu-Gi-Oh! 7th episode 31. Alright. So, wow. I think they've gained another ally. Kasi, 
They encounter a group of students na talagang ni down ng, ng Machine Cavalry Duel Club. Okay. The Machine Cavalry Duel Club is proving to be a worthy uh, a worthy arch nemesis for our uh, for our heroes here. All right? Kasi sa final scene, uh, I think, okay, uh, it's not confirmed that it's, that it's them. They are trying to tear down the what remains of Goa 6 Elementary. Okay? Silang silang nagpatapos sa buhay ng eskwela kang yun. Right? So, the duel! Pretty good. Okay? It's really pretty good. Tapos yung comic relief! <laughs> oh my God! Ang laki ng sayad nitong si Django, no? Ang laki ng sayad! Grabe! But he is, he is really good. Okay? With his ant deck. Ba? Pwede siyang, ano eh, I think uh, he can be. We can pass him off as uh, Weevil Underwood reincarnated. I don't. I don't know. Pero I think I'm. I am seeing a, a new Weevil Underwood here. Ki Django. Kasi insect insect user she. We all know Weevil Underwood is the um, is the most famous insect user sa buong anime franchise. All right. Pero overall, it is a, a really funny episode. <laughs> Ito si Django, si Django talagang nag, ano eh, ang nagpadali, ang nagdala sa nagdala sa episode na to eh. Now, the duel. Like I said, duel scenes have duel scenes have separate scripts. All right? So Shut up ako. <laughs> the pace, the flow, the plot. What can what more can I ask for as a Yu-Gi-Oh fan? What more can I ask for? So, ang ano dito eh, uh, the only catch here is, um, no, wala akong makitang catch. Wala eh. Kasi, <clears throat> they were lured into this uh, trumpet duel competition. Kaya sila nagpaturo kay Tiger yung, yung ate ni Luke. Kaya sila nagpaturo in the first place. Yung pala hindi, it is actually a dark rush duel tournament. So, sabi nila, eh, eh, Napikot talaga nung gusto si Luke dito. So, hinamon niya si Django to a duel. Which led to him eventually winning. Pero, um, uh, Luke being now the good sport that he is, eh, sabi niya, so what? So, bago natalo ka. You, you put up a hell of a fight. That is due for Luke. <laughs> Hindi na siya, he's not a bad sport. He's not a bad sport these days. Maybe, um, the good sportsmanship of the rest of the gang are rubbing off on him. Eh. Kasi, well, and he has to be he has to be in his best behavior because he is the president of the Rush Duel Club. Okay? You got you guys got to understand that. Okay? He now has a responsibility. I think he feels that responsibility now. So, yeah. He he needs to be a good sport from now on. Right? And well, all because, okay? Django, originally Django wanted to duel Yuga, the creator of Rush Duel, siyempre. Kasi if you, if you beat Yuga Odo, then you're probably the best Rush Duelist in the world. Because you just beated the one who created it. Kasi yun ang, yun ang mindset ngayon ng mga ibang, ng mga ibang duelist dito sa, sa anime na to. Yun ang mindset nila ngayon eh. You wanna be the best? You wanna be the best Rush Duelist? Beat Yuga Odo. And well, uh, I don't envy Yuga's position right now. He has a very large target on his back for creating the Rush Duel format. But anyway, it is a really funny episode, alright? It's a really funny episode. Kinakanta pa ng Django na to yung, yung 7th OP habang uh, he's, having that, he, he's having that crazy fit of his. <laughs> Kinakanta pa niya yung yung na 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 na. Kinakanta pa niya. Oh, kinakanta pa niya. Ganun siya kaparaning. <laughs> so, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 episode 31. Two thumbs up. Okay, two thumbs up. And a big toe. Yeah. <laughs> two thumbs up and a big toe. Talaga na... You've seen it, Twitch. You've seen how I react to this episode. Talaga natawa ko sa episode na to. All because of... Uh, 
the um, this episode's antagonist si Django but well eventually uh, I think they found an ally in him eh, kasi inopress to eh inopress tang inopress siya ng gusto eh kasama yung kasi may mga may mga kasamaan din siya eh, dun sa building niyon eh yun pala yun nga they were run they were run out of Goa 6 elementary by the machine cavalry duel club so This dual club has a lot to answer for. And, well, if this isn't a sign of a major arc to you, I don't know what will. Okay? A major force. Okay? A major antagonist. Okay? You think um, Roa is it? Nope. You think Neil is it? Nope. Panghimagas ang pala dalawang yun. So, I think uh, conspiracy theory. Okay? Conspiracy theory ko to. I think... Um, This duel, the, the Machine Cavalry Duel Club was hired by Koha to take down Yuga and the Rush Duel format. Okay. I believe Goha, Goha has a hand on this. May, 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 may pinagalaw silang galamay dito. Kasi they're now, they are now that serious in, uh, in ending the Rush Duel format. Okay. And what more we to do it than to beat its creator, si Yuga. Major art, major art feels. Major art feels. So again, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7th episode 31. Two thumbs up. Right? Two thumbs up. Next episode, yung, ano na, uh, I think, yeah, the Machine Cavalry Duel Club ng makakarap nila Yuga. So, I'm excited for that. I am so excited for that. King's Raid episode 15. The highlight of this episode probably was the first scene. The Black Edge get de- get decimated by Maltuk. And probably well Castle recovers after a 15 day um coma. He, he was asleep for half a month. So that would be uh that'll be 15 days, right? 15 days. Okay. So Ah, no. Okay, as I was saying, <clears throat> sort of also a um, reality check for Castle, and uh, just, it just, uh, it's also an affirmation of resolve for him. Okay, it's also an affirmation of resolve for him. And overall, overall na agad din. Well, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, what you call this? I don't want to. Uh, give flowery words to this review of mine it is a good episode right <clears throat> it's a good episode well the pace yung flow niya the yung plot yeah carry plot carry over from from the last episode eh. carry over siya from the last episode and no hindi naman eh, hindi naman siya hindi naman siya minadali rito But there is a, uh, but there is a, but there, there was a revelation. There, there was a revelation in the final scene, okay. Which makes it a good episode, okay. Because when Pisa, the Black Edge gets gets decimated. Tapos sa final scene naman, mm, sort of revelation, all right. Now, with regards to the, uh, uh, what I've been explaining over the stream, okay? what I've been explaining over the stream, all right. I am getting a, I'm getting a very big hunch that, uh, what's all this? Castle is starting to become the living embodiment of the Holy Sword. Whether the sword exists or not, yung essence niya na kay Castle. Yun ang, yun ang na-assume ko. Okay? Yun, yun ang nakikita ko rito. Alright? So, King's Raid episode 15 One thumb up lang okay. One thumb up Why? Well Um Bakit? God Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna explain it anymore Basta King's Raid episode 15 One thumb up
Yashahime episode 14. Alright. A clear case of uh, manipulation and um, uh, out of place passion. Okay. Explain ko manipulation. Itong si Rico, halatang halata may yan eh. Halatang halata may, may ulterior motive ito eh. On, on why he suddenly stepped into stepped into the girls' lives, gives them a job, at pinapapatay nga si Homura. Okay? The, uh, the Japanese God of Fire. Uh, well, he is, he is a cruel God according to uh, according to Japanese mythology. Ngayon, nakasago pa nila, nakasago pa ng tatlo. But they, were, they weren't able to kill him because he decided to kill himself. Kasi, pinalabas ni Rico na may gusto siya kay kay, kay Tamano yung yung tawag dito yung uh, yung babaeng type ni Humura alright hindi naman siya type kasi kinidnap niya eh kinidnap pa rin niya ito alright kinidnap pa rin niya sa umpisa halatang ano eh halatang very manipulative itong si Rico okay he cannot be trusted he cannot be trusted well we all know na siya ang sumetap kay Towa. Kaya, kaya na, kaya na aresto si Towa noon. And she has the, uh, yung buong sword, okay? Yung buong sword na gamit niya ngayon, buo na ngayon yun. Kasi pinlant, kasi pinlanta sa kanya ni Rico yun. Now, what did I say? Manipulation and, okay. Uh, out of place passion. What? Humura, okay, he, he is a fire god. He's a fire god na lumigaw dito kay Tamano. Siguro, hindi siya gusto ni Tamano. So, he abducts her. Kinuluto sa, kinuluto sa palasyo niya. Until such time na Tamano herself escaped. So, yun na, nakahingi siya ng tulong kay, of all people, si Rico pa. Alright? We, we can now safely say that because of Rico, we will never know who actually gave the order to Homura to burn that forest down. Kasi ang plano pala, nandun pala yung, nandun pala yung kambal. Okay? Now, based on based on what I saw in the episode, mukhang kilunsinti ni Sesumaru ito. Yung krimen ni Homura. Alright? Now, I don't know why he consented to have his own daughter killed by Humura. Right? I don't know. I don't know why. Okay? Overall, story-wise, ang ganda ng episode nito. Story-wise, ang ganda ng episode na to. Right? So, yung pace, yung flow, yung, yung plot, damay na lahat eh. Right? Umpisa pa lang ng episode, I knew this was going to be a good story. This was going to be a good episode. Right? But, Bitin eh. Okay. Sa pagkamatay ni Humura, we, will ne- we, we won't know for now who actually wants the twins dead. Okay. It will, is it zero yung babaeng pinakita doon? Or si Sesumaru mismo? Alright? Huwag yung sabihin, bumalik na sa pagkakotrabida si Sesumaru rito. Alright? Pero, all in good because Sesumaru was intended to be a villain from the very start. No. Pala ba nang inuyasa talaga talaga siya na kontrabide. Right? So, Yasa Hime episode. Ano ba ako? 14. Um I'm not so sure one thumbs up. Bakit? What? Kasi the anime is could have done more. Eh. Um Pwede. They could have done more by uh, giving uh, giving Towa a, a hidden power. Kasi doon talagang nalaman niyang ito pala ang uh, nagsunog sa gubat kung, nandun si, kung nasan sila ni ano eh. Kung nasan sila ni ni Setsuna. Yung pala na was intentional. Alright? Someone gave the order to Homura. To Homura. It was either Zero or actually si Sumaru himself. So, puro hints eh. At least, give us a solid clue 
Okay? A solid clue as to who gave the order to Humura. Now we know, now we don't know kasi Humura kills himself by by burning himself down, by burning himself to ashes. Sa sobrang sa sobrang galit niya. Okay? Sa sobrang galit niya he, he kills himself. So we'll never know for now. All right? But Uh, if it weren't for the start of this uh, episode, I might have given it a lower rating. Okay? So again, Yashahime episode 14. One thumb up. Right? One thumb up. Pero, next episode, abangan natin. Mukhang maganda to. <laughs> Fan service! Attack on Titan, final season, episode 5. Wow! <laughs> Lumantad na si Eren! Okay. It's now official. Eren and company have invaded the mainland. It's now official. <laughs> By his mere transformation, declaration, he's just declared war on the Marlian, na- on the Marlian Empire. Wow! Grabe! Like on their, they, no matter how much forgiveness... Um, Reiner asks from Eren, neither side will give in. Talagang tuloy na ang final, tuloy, tuloy, tuloy na talaga yung, yung, yung gera between Paradise and Mainlanders. Talagang tuloy na, tuloy na. Grabe. Nagmamakaawa kasi ano eh. Talagang, Reiner was literally begging for mercy sa episode na to. Talagang, you could see the fear in his eyes. Eh, nagtatakit nung si Falco kung bakit Oh, ba't ba, 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 ganitong ba, ganitong asta ni ni Idol, ni Vice Chief tataka siya <laughs> overall okay, overall well, this is the type of episode that uh, if you've uh, received the thumbs the thumbs down two episodes ago you would make up for it okay, this is the perfect way to make up for uh, for, for a very bad rating uh, a few episodes ago Peace. Flow, okay. It's not exactly a backstory episode kasi eh, kinwento lang eh. Kinwento. Nagkakwentuhan lang bago um, talagang talagang oh, talagang sumugod na si Eren eh. You wouldn't call that a backstory, a backstory episode. Talagang feel mo yung ano eh. You can feel the intensity. Okay? You can feel the intensity of this episode. Talagang habang nagkakwentuhan sila talagang malalaman mo uy. Oh boy. <laughs> mapapa oh boy <laughs> oh mukha the end is near <laughs> the end is near alright so Attack on Titan final season episode 5 uh-huh. two thumbs up alright two thumbs up two thumbs up alright two thumbs up and I thought they're going to bore me to death with their uh With, with their sad stories. Okay? I thought they're going to bore me to them with their sad stories. But, nope. They, they proven them, they proven me wrong. Okay? They proven me wrong. Tsaka, ano yun? Yung, it kept me, it kept me on the edge of my seat itong episode na to. Because, yung head ng Tybur family, kinikwento yung side nila. Si Eren, kinikwento naman yung side niya. Si Eren, uh, si... Reiner, kinikwento rin niya yung side niya para uh, sabay, sabay hingi ng dispensa kay sabay hingi ng dispensa kay Eren. Alright? <laughs> Talagang <clears throat> everybody's backstory is coming to a head in this episode. Kaya wala, wala na nagawa si Reiner. Eren Eren proceeds with his transfer, transformation and boom! Uh, the head of the Tiber family goes flying. <laughs> Mukhang, mukhang bala pa ang kanyang kainin eh. Mukhang bala pa ang kainin ni Eren eh. Wow. Okay. If this is the way to, um, to actually, to actually start, um, to call it, start some sort of a mini arc or something, alam nyo, they should have started it this way. Okay. They should have started it this way. Kumaga, this would be a fitting episode 1, in my opinion ha. This would be a very fitting episode 1 
instead of the one they instead of the one they had okay, this is a more fitting episode 1 than than episode 5 okay so again Attack on Titan final season episode 5 Thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Alam mo, Twitch, I cannot wait for the next episode. YouTube, I cannot wait for the next episode. Kasi, talagang magsasagupaan na si Eren at ang Warhammer Titan magpapakita na rin. So, yan, tinisar ko na. X Arm Episode 1 Brand new uh, Brand new anime That was supposed to Supposed to air uh, During the summer of 2020 But It was moved to this season Of course Due to um, Due to the pandemic yeah, That's the usual excuse But <clears throat> um, Tales of a tale of an ordinary boy Being Thrusted into the future <laughs> In the most unexpected way, okay, he dies in a traffic accident. Actually, binundur siya habang tumatawid sa pedestrian lane. Binundur siya ng isang poche. And he thinks he's dead. But no. <laughs> Someone or something uh, kept his brain alive. So, yun yung core. Um, he, w- he wakes up, he's just a brain now in 2030. <laughs> he's been dead for 16 years na pala. He's been dead for 16 years. Then he helps uh, solve a case uh, of the of the two of the two cops that uh, that rescued him. Okay. See, one of them is named Alma, Android, Android. Siya. He uses Alma's body to fight this X arm, a, a guy with a with, with a weird looking arm, with with this crazy strong power of. Uh, facing through walls <laughs> and facing himself to avoid uh, avoid getting hit getting hit oh grab it if you had a power like that you, you would be definitely you'd definitely be alive for a long time but they were able to able to beat this guy and solve the case <clears throat> pero you pala he was named x arm double zero Sabi ng chief of police, siya raw ang dahilan kung bakit nagkaganito ang mundong ito. Okay. He was the uh, he was the one who brought on the apocalypse. Nagtaka siya. Ha? Paano yun? Ano nangyari yun? That's where the adventure begins. Okay? Overall, overall, it's a uh, it's a really good really good pilot. It clearly explains how this story how how um, clearly explains the course of this the course this anime is going on okay it's um it's an isekai slash cyberpunk slash mecha cyberpunk in the sense that it um does, judging on the on, judging on the pilot it reminds me of akodama drive all right that's how akodama drive started that was mecha Mecha like um <clears throat> nah overall this pilot reminded me of Ghost in the Shell standalone complex okay yung season 2 nila okay the animation is just like this CGI din yun eh CGI din ng standalone complex but not as um but not as um what you call this not as refined hindi kasi pino ng animation ng standalone complex to but storylines storylines just as good the storyline is just as good okay <clears throat> so it's still it's still worth watching so x arm episode 1 quanta map muna quanta map muna well, kasi, um, the only thing that <clears throat> the only thing that kept it from getting the two thumbs up from me was um, I hate to say it the animation okay 
CGI CGI siya like like uh like I said Ghost in the Shell standalone complex 20 ah pasa pasa standalone complex season 2 na pero eh. but it's not as refined as that <clears throat> they could have done more when it when it came to um, the animation kung mga they might have made it not 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 to the level of Ghost in the Shell okay not uh siguro tama tama na more make it more um make it more 3D like make it more uh, make it more true to life okay make it more life like kasi nga CGI eh. okay CGI but don't get me wrong guys don't get me wrong mga ka lifestyle the pilot is really good okay it sets the tone for the entire anime i think okay we can safely assume that because I'm completely convinced that this this is a good anime. This is a good anime. So again, X Arm Episode One. Oh, up. So next episode has been teasered. Where I, I am, I am going to watch that. All right, I am going to watch that because we're uh, we're talking about a simple boy here, a simple teenage boy who dies in an accident and get his gets his brain preserved. gets a second life by having his brain preserved but he doesn't know that he was the one who brought on a cataclysmic event on the, on the earth he doesn't know so I'd love to see the, I'd love to see that enemy revolve around that you kumbaga, mysterious past niya. that sounds intriguing that's why I'm going to watch episode 2 True Cookie Master Boy, Season 2, Episode 1. Okay, me, uh, oops, sorry. So, we're on a more stable surface. Now, what a way to start, um, to start Season 2, start, to start Season 2 of a reboot of a classic anime. Alright? It's, it's the only way I can describe um, the pilot to Season 2. Imagine! Okay? Imagine the most iconic episode in the original series. You put that as the pilot. Imagine that, all right? Here's how it went, okay? See, si, si Mao um, has an impending cooking battle with an old nemesis of his. Okay, an old nemesis of his. Si Xiao An. Okay, aral din sa nanay niya ito. Xiao Wan was also mentored by his late mother, si, 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 si Lu Bei. Right? Tofu battle. Pareho magaling. Pareho magaling gumawa ng tokwa. Right? Now, the, the underground cooking society, in all its deviousness, okay, represented by Jiang, naghulog ng rice straw dun sa, sa hilaw na tofu. What happens? It got fermented too rapidly. Mm. Halos mabulok yung tofu. That's cheating. Right? That is cheating. But, Mao saw an opportunity to really beat Xiao An this time. Kasi yung feeling niya nun eh, naswertihan lang siya. Eh, to him, even to him, the win was a fluke. And his first, his first win against uh, Xiao An. What? He ended up cooking uh, cooking what he calls the, the tofu dish of the century na gustuhan ng mga judges. But, uh, Xiao An's dish, Xiao, Xiao An's dish is next. Natikman din nila. Uy, nasarapan din. Confident naman itong si Xiao An. Doon natapos ang episode. So, if I remember, uh, if I remember that iconic episode correctly, Um, yeah, parang ganun din yung natapos eh, nabitin din. It was a, yung battle nila, the battle between Lu Mao Sing and Xiao An was a two-part episode actually. Okay, natandaan ko na. But that episode is iconic. Okay, it is the most iconic episode in the original series. It's overall, it is a fucking good episode. I never thought 
um, production IG would um, would would actually respect the original series this way. Okay, they respected the original series by um, making the battle between um, Yu Mao Sing and Xiao An also a two-part episode. Ginawan ginawa din nilang two parts ito. All right. So the pace, the flow, yeah. It it made me go back to the early 2000s when I first watched the original series. Talagang throwback. Throwback mode ako kanina when, when I was reviewing this episode. When I was reviewing the pilot of season 2. <clears throat> I thought, wow. <laughs> I, I, I totally remember this episode. Grabe. Grabe ang ginawang... Um, grabe ang ginawang discarded doon ni Mao. Just to beat Suan. Just to... Um, just to save Sanji's father. Just to save... Just to save the, Shang, the entire Shanghai district. From the cooking underground. Alright? Grabe ang ginawa ni Mao dito. Right? And it made... Talagang... I went into throwback mode... Fan service! I gotta admit, I am a Cooking Master Boy fan. Alright? So, through Cooking Master Boy Season 2, Episode 1, two thumbs up, and a big toe. <laughs> two thumbs up and a big toe. Production IG, wow, okay? You you really did it to me this time. First with um, Psychopaths, then Noblesse, then Moriarty the Patriot, and now Cooking Master Boy, a true Cooking Master Boy Season 2. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for, um, alright, instead of making it a, um, hey guys, in, uh, in case you're not up to speed, I already saw Season 1 of this, pero, uh, I wasn't into, I wasn't into reviewing animes yet. That was in 2019. When I when I when I when I watched season one of the reboot, right? Grabe. <clears throat> they they uh they threw me they put me into throwback mode with this one. Talagang ano eh, um I remember the original episode as vividly as yesterday. Parang napanood ko lang kahapon. Okay? Parang napanood ko lang kahapon. All right? Grabe yung ginawa ng ano dito. All right? They um I think they were thinking, they were thinking of the Cooking Master Boy, the long sleeping, okay, the long asleep Cooking Master Boy fans, with this, uh, with this episode. Talagang, they totally respected uh, fans of the original series with this one. Kasi, yung, yung original battle nun between yan, between Mao and Xiao An, talagang two parts yun. Inabutan ng, inabutan ng two parts yun. But, it did not um, signify the start of a new season. Kasi, 50, I think 54 episodes siya. Lahat-lahat. Yeah, I, I, I think I saw all 54 episodes of the original series. <clears throat> Kaya, wala siyang ano eh. Uh, wala siyang break into two seasons. Ito meron eh. And, wow. What a way for, um, what a way for True Cooking Master Boy to come back. With, the iconic battle between the, uh, the the iconic second battle between um, Mao and Xiao An as its pilot. What can I ask for? <laughs> so again, through Cooking Master Boy season two, episode one, two thumbs up. Okay, <clears throat> a extreme an extremely nostalgic two thumbs up. Well, next episode, I know what the next episode, I know what's going to happen in the next episode, alright? All I can say is right now, welcome back to Cooking Master Boy! The Seven Deadly Sins Dragon's Judgment Episode 1. Wow, alright. <clears throat> Well, highlight, ban, finally, um, finally sees Meliodas. Well, 
don't know if he's aware. I don't know if he's aware of it. Na pero yung, yung dragon na nakalaban niya kanina, si Meliodas pala yun. I guess he, I guess he got, I guess he, um, siguro na-realize na niya. It is Meliodas. Na, <clears throat> probably, eh, if it were, if it weren't for him, tuloy na talaga naging demon si Meliodas. Alright? So, wow, okay? The two best friends, well, they're considered best friends. The two best friends finally, uh, uh, they finally see each other in purgatory of, of all places. Basically, the pilot picked up where the season three finale left off. Okay, so if you're not totally familiar, or if you haven't seen season three yet, I strongly suggest do not start watching the final season. Okay. Overall, the pace, the flow, the plot, and wow, seamless, seamless. The pagkaka, the pagkaka transition from season three to this, seamless. Yeah, but I don't know if you're if you're not familiar with uh, if you haven't seen season three, it's yeah. It's probably okay. It's probably okay because, kumbaga, um, this pilot, uh, this pilot actually gave me the heads up as to what happened in, I think in the last in the last few episodes of season three. Pero uh, ako, napalo ko buong season three, so I know I know exactly what happened. But yeah, if you're if you're new to the seven deadly sins. I strongly suggest do not watch the final. Do not do not watch the new one yet. Do not watch Dragon's Judgment yet. Focus mo na kayo at least sa season three. Okay? Focus mo na kayo at least sa season three. All right? But overall, it is a really good pilot. Okay? The Seven Deadly Sins is off to. Um, I think they're they're hell bent on ending the entire series with a bang. Okay? Yeah. Well. I got, I gotta admit Twitch, I gotta admit YouTube, I am a Seven Deadly Sins fan. Okay, this is one of the many returning animes that I've been, uh, that I have been waiting for this year. Okay, now you know. So, the Seven Deadly Sins Dragon's Judgment Episode One. Two thumbs up. Alright, two thumbs up. <clears throat> the OP, the OP, well, very familiar sa akin. Very familiar yung art, yung komanta nun. Band me. Okay? They also did the ED. One of the EDs to Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains. Kaya alam ko. Alright? They also did one of the EDs of Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains. Yung Glory. Wow! I never thought Band Maid would, uh, would actually do the OP of this anime. Galing. Alright? Ang galing. It's, um, kumbaga, they're, the way they, um, uh, the way they approached the, um, the, the start, um, the way they approached it, impeccable. Totally impeccable. Ang galing ang bandmate talaga. Ang galing na banda. And, uh, the ED is, um, I don't know, um, I have never been a fan of, of uh, the seven of seven deadly sins EDs, except the one the one done by Flowing Grand Rodeo Seven. Yun lang. Yun lang nagusto ko ng ED dito. Right, but it's a 24 episode run, guys. Okay? The final season is a 24 episode run, so we'll see. My right, for. But for this particular ED, um, um, it feels bland. It's contrary to the ominous nature, to the ominous nature of the pilot, okay, of this pilot. May, may, may pagka ominous yung feeling, kaya I really, I, talagang I gave it, it's one of, it's the main reason why I gave it the two thumbs up. Talagang napaka ominous yung dating, alright? Napaka-ominous yung feeling niya. 
So that is one that is the biggest that is the biggest reason why I gave it the maximum rating. So again, the seven deadly sins dragon's judgment episode one. Two thumbs up. Okay. Two thumbs up guys. Two thumbs up. But the usual uh, the usual insert animation. But pero medyo medyo pulido yun eh. So they teaser the next episode, but no kung baga pinaka teaser kasi na seven deadly sins yung parang parang chibi. Yung chibi insert, yun ang yun ang pinaka <laughs> yun ang pinaka teaser nila. Okay? So I'm used to it and if you're new to the seven deadly sins, get used to it. <laughs> Because it has been that way since season one. Log Horizon, third season, episode one. Mm. Looks like um, as early as the pilot, we now know what to expect uh, with, uh, with the entire with the entire season three. But anyway, what well, the highlight of this episode was Ein seceding from the round table, and what well, lo and behold, he becomes the Duke. In a point, some Duke ng ng isang malakas na pamilya ng people of the land. So, in other words, naghangad. Okay. May pagkaswapang din pala itong si Ayn. Alright? May okay. pagkaswapang din pala ito. How disappointing. Overall, you can say it's a strong start for for Log Horizon. Alright? It's, it's, it's a strong start kasi <clears throat> yung isa nilang isa nilang kaalyadong guild um, humiwalay na and uh, yung leader nila naghangat ng kapangyarihan ay oh, obvious naman eh lumabas na pagkapolitiko lumabas na pagkapolitiko so the pace the plot, uh, the flow yep don't, don't, say, don't say this is my rating okay? kumunan lang ako so wow What a way to for for Log Horizon to to start its much anticipated third season. We, we have waited for this. We, we waited seven years for this. And then, uh, eight years, pala. We waited eight years for this. Halos. We, wait, we waited almost eight years for this. So, and then, 20, kailan ba ano, 2012, 2014. And then, seven years, pala. Sorry, seven years. Pero then, That's a long time, okay? What can happen in seven years? Well, kung nakakulong ka, and if you're married, your 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 spouse can already file for legal separation or even divorce. <laughs> well, within seven years, if no one has um, if no one has found you, you can all you can be legally dead. <laughs> all right? So seven years is quite a long time. All right? So yeah. It's a strong start for um, the new season of this anime. So, Log Horizon, third season, episode one. That was a great start. Eh? Two thumbs up. All right. Two thumbs up. Because, well, okay. This, this pilot is proof that politics will never uh, politics will never benefit everybody it will never benefit no not everybody anybody okay politics is just a pure show of power legalized ego trip and the pilot of pilot of Log Horizon third season proves that okay. yung isa nilang kalyado yun naghangad humiwalay inappoint siyang duke ng isang malakas na pamilya So, yeah, sabi nga ni Shiro, sabi nga ni Shiro, the round table conference is start is starting to fall apart. It's a bit of a uh, it's a bit of a sad start, pero nonetheless, it's a strong start. Okay? So again, Log Horizon third season episode 1. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <clears throat> well, uh, second oh, episode 2 has been teasered let's just watch it and 
my party shot for this review. Welcome back, Log Horizon. <laughs> Beastar Second Season Episode One. You know what? Um, it did pick up where it left off, but. Um, they should have pushed it more, all right? Since oh, there are a lot of B Stars fans right now, all right? But anyway, Louis has been Louis was Louis was missing for two months. Two months after the events of season one, comes back and resigns from the acting club. Now, meron siyang sinabi kay Lego si nune. May sinabi siya dito kay Lego si na ano eh? Um, light and dark have reversed. Um, enjoy squirming in this dim light. I've now found my uh, my own way to fight. What does Louis mean by that? What does Louis mean by that? Ano yung sabi niya nun? But there is also this ghost, ghost that's been haunting lecture hall too. Kung saan pinata yung best friend ni Lego si 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 Tem, best friend niya yun. And all throughout the episode, he's been hearing this sound yun. Parang, sounds like a rattlesnake. Until final scene, boom, shows himself. Nasa while he was in the laundromat, kasi kinol out nanye. Legacy called him out. Legacy called the thing out. Ayun, mapasan. Nagpakita na sa kanya, lumantad na. So that's where the episode ended. Overall, um, yeah, it's a good episode. It's a good pilot. <clears throat> Um, parang ano eh, Beastars, uh, Beastars Season 2 went off on a, uh, on a gloomy start, on a gloomy start, kasi eh, um, I feel that Louis is, Louis is no longer, no longer the Beastar, and now they're, they are now looking for a new Beastar, okay, so parang, you can see it's a, it's a proverbial fall of, fall from grace for him, okay. But the pace, the flow, yeah. Vintage B stars, okay. Yung psychological profile ng e buong episode, yep. You can feel it. Okay? You can absolutely feel it. But they could have um, they they could have shown the perpetrator's face, di ba? Para na, nakita na natin, nagulo na si Lego siya. As if he knows, as if he knows this hidden character, as if he knows, all right. But anyway, it's a good episode. B stars is off to a uh, a gloomy, but uh, yeah, it's a um, good start, right? So, B stars second season episode one. Matamab lang. I just couldn't give it the two thumbs up yet because um I don't know nabit parang nabitin ako in the wrong way all right because I don't know ah if it's just me or uh, this anime is taking a uh, this anime will take a darker turn this season in, the, in season 2 pero um I don't know mukhang hindi pa ako sanay all right I said season one, right? Beast at that time, Beast Stars is a very innovative anime. Full time CGI, sha. Okay. And after now, it's still CGI, right? But um, compared to compared to the season to the season one finale, um, I prefer the season finale more. The season one finale more than uh, the pilot of season two. I say, well, Legacy has returned to his normal self. Okay? No longer is he's not yet, well, at least not yet. Okay? Not yet. He's into his not yet into his savage self. The one he showed the one he showed um, during the second half of season one. Well he hasn't and, well he hasn't gone to that place yet. He hasn't gone to that place again yet. Okay. Well, we'll see. Alright. Just remember. B stars is all to a gloomy but good start, right? But it's not enough for me to uh, 
give it a higher rating. So again, Beastars second season episode one. One thumb up. Okay. One thumb up. Decent one thumb up. Well, wow. No teasers. So, all I can say is, welcome back Beastars.